Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel, KCWA TV. On Talking Films today, I have the real privilege of having the one and only award-winning director from America, Denirad. Welcome to the show. Thank you for having me. Mm, it's an amazing thing to have you on the show, finally. Yes, yes. <laughs> Welcome, and mm. for the viewers worldwide who mm -hmm. might not know who you are, who is Deniran? Well, my name is Dimoraye Deniran. Uh, the name actually means, what have I done to them? There's a story behind that, and I'll share it another time, right? <laughs> a lot of people call me Kush. Kush mm -hmm. just means dark skin. I, when I was young, people used to call me Blacky, Blacky, right? Okay. But it wasn't in a good sense, right, <laughs> <laughs> back then. <laughs> But it's something that, that is now embraced. Um, I'm originally from, born and raised in London, okay. but I've lived most of my life in New York City. Okay. And um, I'm Nigerian, Urobo tribe, which is found in um, the Delta, Delta State in Nigeria. Okay, I've heard of the Delta State mm -hmm. on, the, on the news, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's it, it's rough. Yeah, so what inspired you to venture into film? The film was, uh, that. what inspired me was Chip My Children okay. and Future Children, you know, you know like, Future generations. I wanted to, I wanted them to have stories that they could relate to, images that they could relate to, positive images because a lot of negative images, yeah. from so for so many years have been put out with blacks, you know, Africans. It's been very negative. So I wanted to be a part of. Instead of complaining about it, okay. I complain with my actions by changing it. Okay. So how many projects have you done since you started? Okay. So I started filming since when I, I was ten years old. I was behind the camera. I wasn't doing movies, but I was yeah. just always the cam cam camcorders filming. But 2009 is when I decided to do film and wow. to write screenplays. Okay. Um, and I've been doing it ever since. I have um, four, four feature movies. This one, Ojanoma, yeah. is the fourth one. Yeah. And then I have short films. I have some short films I've done. And some films I've shot for other people as far as short films. Okay, so where can people buy or watch your movies from? You can find them on Amazon Prime. Yeah. Um, <coughs> excuse me, Amazon Prime, you'll find um, The Diary for Bad Men and also Reserve Notes. Mm -hmm. um, Tubi TV, that's T U B I, okay. Tubi TV. And you might find some stuff on YouTube as well. Okay. So now that you're in Zambia for the premiere of Ojanoma, I hope mm -hmm. I pronounced that right. Yeah. <laughs> Who or what inspired you to shoot this movie? Again, my children, right? <laughs> but. Again, I, I got into movies, yeah. right, to make movies like Oja Noma, okay. but I could never write that type of movie. I tried, okay. and it was that was a, a it was a challenge to me. And um, when I, I came here to to Zambia, two thousand eighteen, Patrick uh, Shumba, yeah. he brought me here. He was in the uh, Black Panther movie, and he yeah. Was, yeah. So he brought me here because he had um, auditioned for my movie, The Making of a Slave, oh, okay. and um, we had a conversation. He brought me, he brought me here. To, uh, Zambia and I worked for a year and a half I was just on the business side of film and I was, we were looking to raise the money so no creative ideas mm -hmm. could come in my head okay. absolutely zero I didn't do no filming nothing for a year and a half but the moment I finished the business side of that mm -hmm. I was around my family and I laid down on the floor for about five seconds and I sp sprung back up and I said I got it and Genoma was birthed right there. And I started telling my family, this is what I want to do. And my children put input here and there. Yeah. And then in six days, I wrote the first draft of the script. So you actually thought about it and planned together with the family? No, the, I mean, the, the initial, I, was, I, the I, I, I put out the idea what it was and yeah. bounced it on them. And they would, the children would be like, yeah, this, does that make wow. sense? Does that good? And then um, I wrote it. It, take, it took uh, six days to write the first um, 90 pages, wow. six days, and then we went through, I went through many drafts, like maybe, I think I may, may have done like tw 15 or 20 drafts of the script. Wow. What does Ojanoma mean? It means I I have met the challenge. It's um, it's from, it's, it's a, an Urobo name. Okay. Sometimes people shorten uh, the name and say Janoma. Oh. When it's shortened as, as Janoma, it means um, the pain has left, the suffering has left my body. Also, if you twist it, it means... Different. Yeah, yeah. Oh. So, I, so I don't speak the language fluently. So when I first used the name Janoma, mm -hmm. um, one of um, the chiefs said to me, "Oh, he said, that's not the proper name. That's like uh, 
Because Janome was like more for the European term to be okay, oh, yeah, like okay. that. So he said, no, the full name is Ojanoma. Ojanoma. Yeah. Okay, so I saw that you shot Ojanoma in Kitwe. Mm -hmm. What made you choose Kitwe? Um, it was suggested to me by the producer on this project, one of the producers, uh, Tapiwa Magia. Okay. But initially I was going to shoot in um, Livingston because Livingston was really what I knew of Zambia when I first okay. came and sat down with Chief Mukuni. Okay. And I saw his video, I mean his village, and he gave me the blessings that I could do the, um, the making of a slave there. Yeah. So because I wasn't doing the making of a slave, I said, okay, let me just do Genoma there. And I wrote Genoma okay. according to what I saw in, in his village. So it was everything was written according to his village. Yeah. Right. But then um, uh, Tapiwa said, you know, Kitway, it could work in Kitway. And he's, he showed me some locations, mm -hmm. and um, it's at the last minute we made the change to do it in Kitway. So Ojanoma was the second project in Zambia. First. Oh, the yeah. other one was. The, the other one is still to be done. Ah, okay. Yeah. So what was your experience like collaborating with Zambia on the set of Ojanoma? Oh, it was good. It, it was it was it was um smooth. <laughs> it was smooth. I had like on the production. I only brought one person on my production, camera camera um, lady. Mm -hmm. All the other people on the production um, side was um, Zambian. Oh, that's yeah. nice. So usually people charge for movie mm -hmm. premieres, but you have decided to do a private premiere yeah. on Saturday. Mm -hmm. Why is that? I want. I want. It's like uh, I shut it here, and I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, you know, I, I shut it here, and it's, it's easier to you know for people to make you know only selected people but it's easier than to ask people to yeah you know to pay it's just easier it's like I, i'm confident with the movie that mm -hmm. the movie will make its own money yeah i'm confident with that so it's like almost like a treat okay so what's next after the premiere are we going to see more movies or series from you and the team in Zambia? yes genoma itself is a franchise so genoma is when you watch genoma you're going to see some interesting characters and yeah. those characters or have stories and then there's a story the story that we see with Genoma mm -hmm. you can, there's a backstory to that so you're gonna get that backstory later but so there's gonna be more Genoma movies shot here and um, and other movies that I have uh, planned to shoot so if you were to choose to work with any of these renowned Zambian actors and actresses let's mm -hmm. see if you know any who would you choose okay I don't know of the um, re renowned ones the only ones I've worked with is uh I mean, the only actor that I've worked with, with is um, Uncle Barney. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Which uh, I'll work with him again. And um, I, I don't know if I'm Kelly, Kelly Lufuma. Okay. Lufuma. Yeah, I want, I want to do some stuff with Kelly because his presence okay. is strong and his voice is very unique. Mm, I look forward to yeah. watching a movie and mm -hmm. learning and finding what Ojonoma yeah. is mm -hmm. all about. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much for making time for this interview. Mm -hmm. That is all we had, guys, on Talking Films with Kate Sewell. Join me next time and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you.